Duncan, I can't believe you're dead. Let us have our own motel room. I think it's a reward for solving the mystery of who left their beer cans by the lake. My dad and his friends. I think we've earned some horseplay. Ow! Duncan, don't uh, pillow fight. Don't do anything I wouldn't want a 10-year-old boy to do. Just don't be the way that you are. Hey, now, if you guys need me, I'll be next door, drinking. Going so soon? We're gonna play a pretty mean game of Monopoly. Um, Jason? I can't find the thimble. What? Could you hold on one second? You said you were sure! Well, I thought that I looked. No, and... you didn't! This is exactly what I'm talking about when I talk Just about it! Just be the top hat! And the sun is down. Let's play the floor is lava. Yeah! Starting now! What was that noise? I don't know. Maybe it was Duncan's dad again. It didn't sound like crying. But I've got a book that can help us get to the bottom of this. The Gumshoe Boys and the Case of the Mysterious Motel. Golly, Tom said. What was that racket? Oliver crept to the window and spied three Negro boys outside. Oh, he said, it's just a couple of spooks. Ghosts! Ghosts! That's why there's a little bit of blood in the sink. Let's suit up. That was the sound. Case closed, guys. It was just the ice machine. Wait a second. Sudden changes in temperature may indicate the presence of a ghost. And this ice machine is ice cold. Holy egg creams, that sounds like a girl ghost. In this book called The Myth of the White Lady, the female ghost moans because she has unfinished business. Oh, yes. Oh, fuck. Oh. That ghost has really unfinished business. They need another specter to summon them back to the afterlife. She's late. Yeah, call your madam. This is not what I ordered. <gasps> Governor Phelps! Good evening, Governor. We're one of your state's most valuable treasures, the mystery team. Guys, it's Tina from math class. Hey, Tina. Oh, boy, Tina. For a second, we thought you were a white lady. She is. And that's all the agency had today, so I had to... Do you know these guys? We go to high school together. <laughs> high school. Oh, Earl, what have you done? Oh, I get it. Tina was absent from our class trip to the Capitol, so she's catching up on her own time. Oh, smart thinking, Tina. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. She missed a trip, and now I'm giving her a special lesson. Neato! Can we get a special lesson, too? No, God, God, no, no. Um, I mean, yeah, 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 you can. Boss, wait till my dad hears we're getting a special lesson from the government. Now, Tina, I heard a rumor that you were at Planned Parenthood, and I just want you to know that I think it is very smart for you to be planning on being a parent this early. <laughs> I found balloons. Oh. Can you believe someone tried to flush this down the toilet? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, um, hi, uh, <laughs> I was just talking to your boys. We were talking about legislation and... All right, let me just... You seem like a reasonable man. Um, I'm listening. Okay, well, obviously I can't give you money, but if you happen to find a large sum, say, on a nightstand... Got it! Here you go, Governor. Thank you. Governor, you dropped your money really slowly. Thank you. I'm in 201. Just put that in a bag and leave it by my door in a little while. I'll 
take care of these guys. So you'll have the girl too, right? No! Think about it. Okay, guys, just tell me one more time what happened here tonight. We saw the governor teaching and then we got ice cream! Yeah! Yeah, the ice cream. Hey, the thimble! Shut up! Another mystery solved, guys! Mystery, mystery team, team, all right!